Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is your love scope for the month of June. So let's see what you have in store for you in June. We have Nine of Cups. We have Rising. And we have, you have imprinted yourself on my soul. This is a beautiful opening. So the month of June for you guys, Geminis. You're going to have your wishes fulfilled. The Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment, self-fulfillment, and having your wishes come true. You're going to be rising up to the occasion. You're going to be rising up from whatever um, has been holding you down. So you can go towards the soul connection, knowing um, what it truly is you want. Because the person you're watching this for, you have imprinted yourself on their soul. They feel you too. They feel you on a soul level. So that's a very, very beautiful opening. So let's see what challenges or blockages might be coming forward for you guys in the month of June. We have Five of Cups. We have Soulmate. And we have, I never did tell you, but I always thought you looked beautiful. So this is about someone who perhaps doesn't um, say much. They don't give much away. But that's because they assume because you guys have a soul connection. They might only know the word soulmate, not soul connection or twin flame. But for them, they're like, you know, but we're connected. You should know this. I don't have to tell you things. But sometimes it's good to just hear the words. It's nice to have them said to you. Because sometimes you have doubts. Everybody does. But the biggest thing that's going to be challenging you guys in the month of June is that there's five of cups here. This is about loss and grief and being blinded to what is still there. They might be, they or you might be still looking at what, what has been lost in this connection, not looking at the things that are still there and the things that tie you guys together, the things that you can recover to move forward in this soul connection so your biggest challenge going to be for the month of june is that you need to look at things from a new perspective don't only look at the things that have been lost or the grief that has been caused look at what still binds you what still makes you want to you know have your wishes come true and rise up again so let's look at possible future energies for your soul connection. We have the universe has your back, which is the world card in traditional tarot. We have divine love. And we have I don't know how to fix this. So all in all, possible future energies here is that things are going to come full circle. Things are going to get to a place where things are harmonious again where things are coming to a completion as in you're cycling out those um, cycles that need to be ended this could be people places and things foundations and beliefs things are just coming to a completion so that you guys can have fulfillment and harmony because this is a divine love it's a soul connection which we already know. But the thing is that you or the other person don't know how to fix this. But what this is, because this came forward because we also had here, the universe has your back. That is how you fix it. You don't try to fix it. You put it to the universe and the universe will do what the universe does. Just trust that the universe has your back and you will see this through and you will be reunited in this divine love as um, it should be. So that is your possible future energies of, um, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please comment, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined and I'll see you guys next month. Thank you. Bye.